Hi guys, so today I'm gonna to go through editing the content on our website. Uh, this is just to show you what Craft CMS is like to use and just how easy it is to use really. So I'll go into a new tab and log into the admin area. And once you're logged in, that'll take you to the dashboard area. So the first thing we see is this entries list. So this is a list of all the different pages that are set up on the site and the pages that we can edit. Uh, you can see on the left hand side, this is the main navigation for the CMS. So you've got a few different sections which we'll go through uh, and a few different plugins as well. But overall, you can just see how just how neat and tidy everything is in the CMS. Everything looks really easy to use, which is great. So we'll go into uh, the home page first. And once you've clicked to edit the home page, you can see we've got a load of different fields. And these are all the different fields that populate the content on the home page. So we can edit all of these, um, but we'll just go through a few features first. So the first one I want to show you uh, is a really neat little feature. It's uh, live preview mode. So if we click preview at the top here, what will happen is it'll shrink the site down, uh, the CMS down into this sidebar here. So you can see we've still got all the different fields for editing. Uh, but we can actually see the front end of the site as well. So it basically means that we can edit the site in real time. Um, and this means that we can check the changes before putting them live. So if something looks rubbish, then we can just remove it. So if I just go in and edit this content, you can see the text is updated straight away, uh, but it's not actually pushed it live. So it just gives you a, a really good little preview of what changes you're making. Uh, you can change the size of this window as well. So if you want to see what the, the website's looking like on tablet, you can do so, and mobile as well. So we can just get rid of that little bit of text. And then once you've done editing this, we can just close the preview and it'll take you back to the normal CMS. Uh, so let's just delete that draft. So the next thing I'll go through is uh, the way that we set up fields in craft uh, and we use these things called blocks so essentially uh, we treat each section as a block so this top section here is a hero block and all that's in this hero block is a heading a subheading a button an image and then a couple of links so we've only got a few different things uh, to edit here and then so what we do then we treat this next bit as another block so we've got like logos and then a heading then we've got some work links, then testimonials, and then a carousel of links and blog posts. So you can see it's, we sort of split it up uh, depending on what sort of section you're in. Um, so if we go back to the back end, you can see the first block we've got is this hero. So let's go back to the top. And as I said, we've got the heading, we've got a subheading, a button, links, and an image, and that's it. And all of the fields are just really easy to use. So the heading field is just a plain text field. So we can just type away in there. And the same goes for the subheading. Then a button field. All we've got to edit here is the label and then where the button links to. So we're telling it to link to an entry, which is a page that's set up in the CMS. We can change that if we want to link to an email address, a custom URL or a category, for example. We can do that. Then the links we've got. Uh, we're telling it to pull through three different links here and again we're just using that same button field then an image if we want to change that image we can just click cross we can add an asset and that'll bring up this file manager window um, so these are all the images that we've uploaded to the site over the years we can organize them uh, by different folders which is great uh, and then you can just select the image that you want to upload like that and we can just remove that if we like. So that's the first block. Um, next one we've got, we'll just go through another one, uh, is logos. So as I said, we're treating each section as a block. So the next section we've got is this uh, heading and then the logo carousel. So all that's included here is a heading again and then an assets field for logos. We can rearrange these just by dragging and dropping as well. Then the beauty of craft is we can add as many fields as we like or as little number of fields as we like. So with this one, we've actually got a couple of different settings for the background color, text color, logo color. So we can actually change 
uh, the way that this block looks on the front end. Um, so we're currently just showing the background color is like a light gray, the text color is black, and we're just leaving the logo color. Then we can also change the, the padding. So we've just got like a bit of space in above and below the block. So we can also um, create a field that can adjust that. <clears throat> so you can see we've got uh, the logos block, then we've got the work block, which again is just really simple. We've just got the button field, uh, links to the two different work items. And then we're telling it to show a little Google review badge, changing the background color, changing the padding, and where the Google review links to. The testimonials, really similar again. So we've got a heading, pulling through two testimonials, telling them to open in a light box, changing the background color and the padding. So you can see the blocks, they're really familiar and they're really similar in how you view them in the CMS. The fields are all pretty much the same. Uh, so everything will become really easy to use really quickly, which is great. So let's just go through uh, a couple of different bits. So we can see here by this drop down that we've actually got different drafts and revisions. So uh, craft basically version controls um, the entries. So every change that you make with content is a version. So you can see we've got quite a few versions of the home page, um, but that's just great because if you make a change and then you want to roll back to that change, we can do so, which is really handy uh, for if you make any mistakes, which all of us do. Um, so yeah, uh, let's move on now. Uh, let's go back to entries list. And let's go to globals. So globals is where we can set up fields for using across the site. So this is great for headings, uh, headers and footers, and any sort of uh, miscellaneous fields as well. So you can see the header links at the top we've got set up in globals. And again, it's just really simple. Uh, the fields that have been set up are just that button field. So we can change the link and the label for them. Then we've also got a drop down which is set up for services. We can see that. Then we've got a, but a button field again for the contact us button. Then in the head, uh, the footer, sorry, we've got this call to action. So that shows up on every single page and we can edit that here. Then all the uh, different footer headings and links, everything like that can all be edited here as well. So that's great because it just means that you don't have to um, edit this content on every single page. So let's move on now, categories. So we've set up uh, some categories on this site for the blog. So if we go to the blog on the front end, you can see we've got web development, design, archive, news and culture. So um, yeah, we can add as many of these categories as we like. And these are just for um, relating blog posts to each other. Um, so let's move on now. So assets and this area is uh, a bit more of an advanced version of the asset window that pops up when you're uploading an image. So this is where we can sort of change settings to the images if we like. So we can just tick and then we can preview, uh, we can download, edit. And I'll just go through the uh, the image editor in Craft CMS, which is great. So if we edit, you can see a new window opens with that image and we can change the rotation, we can flip it and we can crop it as well. So if you just want to do some minor tweaks to the image once you've uploaded it, you can do so. We can also straighten, which is quite handy. And then once you've finished editing, you can just click save and then save the image. Then uh, as you can see, we've got users, which is pretty straightforward. Um, just got a few users set up. And then the rest of them in the nav bar are plugins. Uh, so I'll just run through a couple of them. So Feed Me is a brilliant one for importing content. Um, so we used to run Expression Engine for our site, but we moved over to Craft many moons ago now. Uh, but when we did create our new site in Craft, 
we had to import all of the content from the blogs because we had quite a lot there. Uh, so Feedme is a brilliant plugin. It's really easy to use. Um, and yeah, it just lets you import all your entries from um, a previous site. Um, there's loads of different formats you can use. We've used XML, but there's JSON. Um, yeah. Field Manager. Uh, so this is a handy little dev tool. Um, so this is for just managing your fields, really. <laughs> um, so you can clone fields if you like to. Um, you can see which ones aren't being used as well. So that's handy when you're doing sort of major upgrades and you're creating new fields for new pages, but then sort of deprecating old ones. Uh, just to keep everything tidy, you can go through this plugin and just see which ones are being unused and delete them. Then we've got Freeform. So Freeform is um, the form submission plugin that we use. Uh, so this is where we can handle all the different forms. We can build them in here. So let's go to the contact. You can see we've got this form builder. We can add as many fields as we like into here, create a different layout, and then change the settings of the form as well, which is great. We can also see all the submissions for the forms uh, in the CMS under this plugin. Then we've got PickPuller for Craft, which is just an Instagram plugin. Uh, Retour, which is for handling redirects. That's great. Gives you a little overview of different 404s as well. Uh, and then SEOmatic, which is our SEO plugin. This is really powerful. And uh, yeah, we swear by this on every single project. So that pretty, mu pretty much covers uh, just going through the CMS. Um, I'll make a, another video shortly of how to go through um, a site that uses commerce, craft commerce. Well, yep, cheers for that. Bye.